Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Giovanni Soleil. Today is going to be a sneaker haul. Um, I've been gone for, hold on, let me look. 72 or 73 days and 20 hours I've been gone, which is outrageous. But I'm coming back with a banger. So it really doesn't matter how long I've been gone, right? If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not, welcome back. The sneakers that I'm going to show you in this video are from maybe three to four months ago. Um, what I like to do is I like to collect my sneakers first and then show you guys because I don't want to do like a sneaker haul with only three pairs of shoes because I may get only three pairs of shoes a month. Actually, I probably get more than that, but I want to make sure that it's a lot of sneakers to show y'all so y'all have more to see. If that makes sense. So I have sneakers from... February, maybe February, I think. Yeah, February till now. And let's just get started with the video. So I have some shoes right here, as you can see, that I only have three pair of, and they're Jordan 1s. So I'm gonna show you guys those first. And the first pair that I grabbed are my Laney 1s. These are a women's release. They're just the Laney colorway, of course. So they look like this, and on the tongue they have black and red. I really like that accent, and I don't have the hang tag on them because I took it off, because you know me, I don't like hang tags on my shoes because they just be flopping everywhere. But yeah, the red and black, a lot of people didn't like the red and black, but I feel like it, I don't know, it looks good to me. I just feel like if it was blue and yellow, that would be doing too much. So. The red and black is a good touch on it. And I have worn most of these sneakers, so if you see a little scuff marks on it, that's why, because I wear them to work. But yeah, these are the Laney ones. And like I say in all of my sneaker videos, I wear a seven or a seven and a half in women, and a five and a half or a six in grade school, just for size reference. But usually I get true to size in Jordan ones, because to me, they run true to size, so yeah. Next pair are a, another pair of Jordan 1s, of course. These are called the Lucky Green Jordan 1s. These came out last month, April, and they just look like this. Not to get confused with the women's Lucky Greens because they have the same name, but it's not the same, same shoe, it's a whole different. It's not a different green, but it's a different like style and colorway. But I just got these um, not too long ago. I really didn't know if I wanted them. That's why I just got them. Um, I mean, they're cool. I like them. I just thought the green was a little bit too bright for me. But then I was just, I kept looking at them and I'm like, maybe I should buy them. And I put the, the green laces in them. I'm gonna take these green laces out and put the black ones in because they have a black tongue. And like I say in all of my sneaker videos, it has a black or white tongue. I need the black or white laces with it, not the green ones. But they do look pretty cool with the greens, I think. And I usually don't tie my shoes, my ones like this, but I thought this was cute. But these are the lucky green ones. I would rate these a maybe an eight out of 10. They're cool, I guess. The last pair of ones that I have are a pair that I literally just got the other day. They didn't come out the other day, but I got them the other day because I was still deciding. But these are the wash pink Jordan ones and they look just like, you can't, the, the color is really washed down on the camera, but they look just like the Turbo Greens and the Hyper Royals, they're just pink. And I thought they were so cute. And I feel like the, like the cream color right here is almost like a yellow. It really ties in well with the pink and the white, and yeah, these are really, really cute. Don't know when I'm gonna wear these. These also came with pink laces, but they're on the other shoe. But yeah, these are very cute. Uh, another disclaimer I have, all of my shoes are authentic. I don't have a problem with replicas. I don't have anything against replicas, but I see a lot of comments in my um, comment section asking if my shoes are real, and yes, they are real. I don't buy reps. Like I said, I don't have anything against reps. Um, I don't, I just don't like buying fake shoes because I have access to the authentic ones, so yeah. All of my shoes are real. All right, so next I have Jordans. I have some threes, 11s, fours, 
and I think those are all the Jordans that I have. I'm gonna save the most recent ones, like the ones that came out. Today is Sunday, yesterday was Saturday. It's some, some fours that came out yesterday, I'm gonna save those to the end. Um, but yeah, let me just get started with the Jordans. The first pair of Jordans are a pair of Jordan fours. These are women's. I get a seven and a half and fours because they run a little tight. These are the Olive Jordan fours. And they just look like this. These are so cute. I've already worn these for sure. I think the colorway on this is very, very nice. Um, this green, it's like almost like a sage green. I feel like that ties really good with the black and the white. And yeah, these are just really cute. This is what the inside looks like, the back of it and the sage green with the gray at the bottom jordan four and like i said i got a seven and a half in these these are so cute next pair are also a pair of jordan fours women's size seven and a half these right here are very very beautiful to me they have the same colorway as that's not the same colorway but it's the same green as olive green fours these are the canyon fours and this shoe First of all, this is as close as I'm gonna get to a pair of Travis Scott's, so that's why I wanted them. Um, if you know the purple Travis Scott's, they're like, in my size, they're probably like over $1,000 or close to $1,000. So we're just gonna keep those on GOAT and we're just gonna get the, not the knockoff pair, but we're just gonna get the other pair. But these are the Canyon 4s and as you can see, they're textured, they're like a, I don't know what to call this, but it's like a carpet. Yeah, it's a carpet at this point. But they have speckles on the green, and then the Jordan man on the tongue is orange, and then the inside of the tongue is orange as well. Hello. Yes, everybody, every time I film a sneaker haul, somebody calls me. But anyway, back to the Canyon Forest. The purple and the green, and the orange just tie very well together in my opinion. Um, a lot of people didn't like it because of the texture, but I feel like if it wasn't this texture, it would look too much like the Travis Scott's. So yeah, this shoe is very, very nice. And like I said, these are the Canyon Fours. This was a women's release only. And yeah, so like I said, these are a pair of threes. They came in grade school and these are the white cement reimagined threes. This shoe is so cute to me because it looks aged. As you can tell at the bottom, the bottom is like yellowing, yellowing. And I just think these look so good with the white. I've worn these as well, that's why the bottom is dirty. But they just look like this. And they have the Nike Air at the back. It hits different on a three when a Nike Air is on the back. That's how you know that these are fire. Okay, so the second to last pair of Jordans I'm gonna show you are a pair of women's 11s. Um, I got these, the J, when did I get these? Not on Friday. I got them on Thursday, I think, of this week. So a couple days ago. And they just, the box just looks like this, the regular Jordan 11 women's box. And these are the snakeskin yellow Jordan 11s. And at first, I wasn't too sure about them because I actually always wanted the pink snakeskin. If you know, you know. The pink snakeskin Jordan 11. I really wanted those. And I couldn't get my hands on them when they came out. So I just decided to grab the yellow ones. And I think I made a really good choice because this shoe is very nice. These was a lot of money. You know how I feel about, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you guys know how I feel about paying for 11. 11s are just really expensive for no reason. Like this shoe was $205. That's almost resale. I just don't agree with paying with four 11s, but I just decided to get them because I didn't get the pink ones and now I have the yellow ones. Okay, last pair of Jordans I have just came out yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday. Um, these are a pair of fours. And if you know, you know. First of all, let me show you the box because the box is very cool. So this is a special edition box. 
and the reason why I'm showing you the box is because usually grade school fours come in a regular Jordan 4 box but since these are special these came in this box and I just really love it and when you open it it's yellow and I'm about to show you the shoe these are the Jordan 4 Thunders these are the original Thunders well they're not the original the original ones came out a couple years ago but these are the the new Thunder 4s the smell of a brand new shoe I'm starting to like it the Jordan 4 Thunders they just look like this and they're really cute a, a black and yellow shoe you can't beat it and next I'm gonna move over to dunks I have one two three four five six seven pairs of dunks and yeah I'm gonna just get started with those this pair let me just do a disclaimer these came out or they've been coming out every week it seems like and I've had multiple pairs of this shoe, but I never wear them because I use it as trade bait or I usually sell it. But I just decided to keep these pair or this pair because it was gifted to me. So yeah, I'm just really tired of seeing this shoe, honestly. But <laughs> everybody and their mother has this shoe. These are the Panda Lows. Um, they're just black and white dunks pretty simple there's literally nothing special about it besides they go with everything literally everything but yeah like i said these were gifted to me so i appreciate that so i'm gonna keep them and i'm gonna wear them too. i just see this shoe like almost every day so that's why i'm tired of it but yeah they're like an air force one basically next pair Ooh, these are cute so a next pair are a women's pair um if you see some scuff marks it's because I wear them to work and me and dunks I have like over I think I have like 35 pairs of dunks dunks are an everyday shoe to me so I treat them like an everyday shoe but I don't treat them like beaters like I said but if you see a little scuff mark that's because I just I've been working but these are called the peaches and cream and these are so bright yeah these are like a highlighter peach color and I just think they're so cute these are a women's release I really like the color of them I like how they're so bright and I just think they're a fun shoe but yeah peaches and cream dunks I'm gonna show you guys this next pair but I'm gonna save that for for the end because it's a really a really really special pair because they're my first pair of um, I'm gonna just save it to the end. The next pair are another pair of very bright shoes. These are the Citron. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. The Citron Dunks. These also came in women. And they just look like this. And this part is actually gray. It's not white. So, and I think that goes well with the color. So it's not as bright. But they're just like a yellow color. And they're called the citrons I of course wear these for sure <laughs> next pair are grade school pair and I just got these a few days ago as well I got them when I got my um, my lucky green ones and they just look like this these are the university high dunks a lot of people don't like highs but I like highs. I don't see a problem with highs. they look like Jordan ones to me and Jordan ones are my favorite so yeah they just look like this. They're just the university colorway. And I think this is a really good summer shoe, so that's why I grabbed it. And yeah, this red just really pops. And yeah, look like this. And Dunk Highs, they run, to me, they run a little bit bigger. So that's why I got my true size, because I didn't want them to be flopping off of my feet. Pair, also a grade school pair and these are so cute uh, I'm starting to like the color pink a lot so when I seen these I knew I needed them these are the candy pink dunk lows and they came in grade school these were also gifted to me so these are very very cute oh my gosh 
Like this color pink is like the perfect color pink in my opinion. Cause it's not too bright and it's not too dull. It's just like in the middle. It's actually magenta, um, but yeah, they call these the, the candy pink dunks. So cute. Okay, the next pair are a pair of women's dunks and I just got these the other day as well. The, the font, phantom, 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 phantom dunks. Is that how you say it? I don't know how to say it. But they're just the, the phantom colorway. But these are called the needlework dunks. And the reason why they're called the needlework dunks is because as you can see on the, the Nike sign, you can see it a little bit, but they have like this little design right here on the Nike sign. And then they also have the rope laces as well. So I thought these were very, very cute. And the inside is like a, it's a brown color. And it just says Nike like that. And yeah, these are just really cute. I didn't get the, the fountain. I don't know how to say it. Fountain, fountain. I don't have that colorway in my collection, so I grabbed these because that's the closest thing I'm gonna get. But yeah, and I think these are low key better because of the rope laces. I just think that's a nice touch to it. So yeah. My last pair of dunks are a pair of dunks that are very special because they're my first pair of SB dunks. Um, in this box right here. And when I show you guys this, I just want you guys to take it in because this shoe is really hard to find in my size. And I got this shoe for Valentine's Day and I didn't know I was getting it. It would have been nice if I got it, but I, I wasn't tripping because like I said, they're really hard to find. But when I got gifted it, I'm like, oh my gosh. So these came in men's sizes and I wear a size six in men. Are you kidding me? Look at these shoes. These are beautiful. Um, I'm scared to wear them. That's why I haven't worn them yet. They're very, very, very cute. If you know, you know. Let me show you guys the other one. Well, let me show you guys both of them. So they're called the Orange Lobster Dunks. And these right here, if you know, or if you've had lobster before, they put these on the claws of a lobster and they they go right here, like on the shoe, but I'm not gonna put that on there because it causes creasing, so I just take it off. But yeah, like I said, these are my first pair of SB Dunks and they came with two color laces. They came with the orange right here and the blue the orange and the blue laces and yeah so on the tongue it just says Nike SB and the tongue on the SBs are like fat and thick these are the best quality dunks that you could get in my opinion because the other the other general release dunks like the pandas and everything they kind of like rush to make those so I feel like the quality isn't as good but these right here, the quality on these are amazing. And yeah, they just, they're just orange, black, and white. They look like this. And these are so cute. And I can't believe that I got them in my size. Like, when I got them as a gift, I'm like, where did you find these at? Those were the last of my dunks. Um, yeah, I saved the best for last. I cherish these shoes so much. Never gonna sell them, never gonna give them away. They're not trade bait. I'm keeping these as long as I can. So the next pair of shoes I'm gonna show you are actually a pair that I have on at the moment. I wore them with this outfit. So I'm about to just take them off. <laughs> okay, so these are Vans. This, these are the low top skateboard Vans, but they have like the, the really thick tongue and also the very thick um, line right here and the laces. I thought these were so cute. I posted a picture in these, so if you're not following me on Instagram, it's gonna be right here. You can follow me on Instagram and see how I styled it. But yeah, these are so cute to me. These are, the, these are called the New School, and New is spelled K-N-U, the New School Vans. Um, yeah. 
my sister, when I showed my sister, she's like, this is just regular Vans. I said, they're not regular Vans. You have to look at them close. But yeah, those are the Vans I got. I think they're really cute, very comfortable. I have to show you my New Balances. I actually have a lot of New Balances. I don't know what it is, but New Balance has been on the rise lately. They really been doing it big. So I decided to grab me a couple because one, they're comfortable, and two, they're cute. Start with some 550s. So these are the pink 550s. And the pink is like a blush pink. Um, they just look like this. These came in grade school. And I think these are so cute and also very comfortable. You kind of have to like break them in a little bit, but once you break them in, they're really, really comfortable. So they just look like this, the blush pink. Next pair are just a pair of regular white and black 550s. Um, these are my favorite because of the white and black colorway. They just go with so much and they're so easy to style and just throw on. So I just had to grab them. But these right here, gotta throw them on every day. I'm not gonna lie to you. These are very, very comfortable. They feel like you have nothing on your feet, but something on your foot that's soft and comfortable. So yeah, I had to grab them. These are just the black and white version. And they look like this. Nothing too special, but this shoe is very comfortable. And they also come in different colorways as well. They have some really cute colorways that I wanna grab. But yeah, these are the 2002 R's. And then my other pair of 2002's are just a gray pair. Um, they kind of remind me of the 990's, but in my opinion, the 2002's look better than the 990's. I just feel like they're more bulk bulkier, which makes them better. But yeah, this is just the gray colorway. And like I said, this is like a everyday shoe. This shoe is so freaking comfortable. If you don't have a pair, I suggest you go get a pair because first of all, they're cheap and they're comfortable. It's a twofer. And the last pair of shoes I have to show you guys are a pair of Pumas. This is what the box look like. looks like. If you know, you know. These are the Rick and Morty Mellows. And you open the box, as you can see, they're two different colors. So that's why I had to get them because they're two different colors. Just show you guys what they look like. So they look like this, just the Rick and Morty's. And I'm gonna give you a close up of each shoe. So the yellow and pink shoe looks like this. This is the back. And then on the tongue, they just have the little character. I don't watch Rick and Morty, so I don't really know who this is. I know, I think this is, this is Rick, I think. And yeah, they just look like this. And the tongue, I thought it was really cool that they put this, but it says, can you read that? It says, get your shit together. That's so cute. But yeah, these are, of course, basketball shoes. I don't play basketball anymore, but I just thought they were fun. And this is what the green and purple pair look like. And then this is the tongue. Tongue looks like, and then on this side, or inside, it says, I guess this is something he says in the show. I don't know how to say it, so I'm just gonna show you. It says this. But yeah, these are the Rick and Morty's, two different colors. I think they're really cute, really fun, just to wear. Okay guys, that was my sneaker haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed by now and you watched until this point, what's going on? Subscribe. All you have to do is just press that button right there. Subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. I will see you guys in my next video. Stay safe, be smart, all that. See you guys later.